Now, what we're going to do is we're going to gear up to do this light show in the Nod Rod. Not on this podcast. Not on this podcast. This part of the podcast I'm going to be using for the video. Yeah. <laughs> so welcome, guys. We're about to do the light show, uh, but we're wrapping up a podcast. Give us a second while we wrap up this podcast. I'm going to use that in the video. You get what I'm doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, as promised, we're back and we're going to be doing a light show. We're going to break down these lights, tell you how they work, show you the light control, switch boxes, and all the, the high-tech stuff that was put in there, all the wheeling equipment. If you guys haven't seen part one and part two of the vehicle installation, make sure you go back over and check them out. I'll link them right here so you can check that out. We went through the process of how all this stuff gets put together. Very interesting. I didn't know about that stuff. And then we got a rundown of all the different equipment that went on. Now, I just got this stuff. I just got this equipment, so I'm no specialist. So I brought back on Chris Watkins, came down to, for the light show specifically to let you guys know exactly what was put on here. And I also got my friend, my co-host, the one and only, Officer Jake. Yes, there he goes. And he's walking in the background. So he's getting ready. He's getting geared up with all his equipment. And then we're going to be running this stuff down as soon as it gets a little bit darker uh, here where we're at, at the original location where we shot the introduction of the new police car to the channel. Remember that? We've come a long way and we're just getting started. I got tons of idea and content coming to this channel with that car. Now that I think about it, it was too light, it was too bright to really get an effect of those lights driving in like we did on the intro. Let's do that one more time. This is our ally. You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. You were supposed to, you were supposed to stay in the car. I thought I was, I thought we were done. I thought I'm getting out. No. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Try to catch me at the So, you ready to do this thing? I'm ready. Wait a minute. What is that? What, what are you wearing up there? Hold on. Let me look at that thing here. Oh. Spreading the brand, right? Yeah, not even released yet. Stay tuned. Release date coming soon for the hats. You guys can get this merch here. We got Justin in the back, throwing down for the TikTok and the reels. Oh yeah, we'll put all the handles down below. Thanks for that. What's up everybody? And he provided these sweet lights. Yeah. Oh yeah, all right. Bow, bow, bow. Always helping out. Bow, bow, bow. What do you say you run us down the equipment that's on the car real quick first? Yeah, All let's right. go front to back. You front ready? to back, here we go. So on the front push bumper, we have our ions, which are our emergency warning lights facing on the side and the front. We've got our nano spotlights. We've got dual siren speakers. We also have a howler behind the uh, bumper, which is your low tone siren. We're wig wagging the headlights with our high current expansion module. 
We've got vertexes hidden away in the corner, ions under the mirror, trio, red, blue, and white. We replaced that spotlight, took care of that uh, rust, rust 3000. Yeah, rust bucket. We have a custom built inner edge. It's the only weak hand X inner edge for a Crown Vic, as far as I know, on the planet. Woo! We've got another trio ion back here in the back window. Up top, we have the wheel and cloud platform antenna for your VSG. Come around to the rear, inner edge in the back with T ions custom built inside. And we've got vertexes, hideaways in our tail lights and reverse lights. And like I said before, on the other side, it's identical. Identical. All right, so we'll run through a couple of buttons for you. For those who don't know, your slide switch is how you activate the majority of your police lights out on the car. Uh, we set this up like a demo vehicle. So when you're demoing, you don't want to leave the car and drive so you can show the drive pattern. So we made a button down here on the end that we can jump from park to drive so we can give a more aggressive flash pattern. You can see we duplicate what the pattern is going on outside the car. And then it's night outside, so we're going now to our night park pattern. And you can see it's a slower DVI pattern that we've created. It's much easier on the eyes. Top row here, we've got your alley light. So I can turn on the left side of the car, white lighting to initiate like an alley light or takedown button, which will initiate white light towards the front of the car. We made this a two press, so I can press it once uh, to give a little bit of scene light and press it twice to add all white lighting on the front of the car. And then we have one button for scene, which if I press this button, Every white light on the car turns on at the same time to, to give a full scene light around the area. Kind of one of the lighting patterns you saw on, the, on bringing in the cars, we have our cruise button, which is where we can steady burn the lights on the outside of the car. And a second press of this will give us our what we call a steady flash, which is that cruise light but with a flash at the end of it. We've got our TA buttons here that we can do our directional, so I can tell traffic to go to the left or to the right. And of course, I think the favorite buttons that you liked is our custom digital voice messages down here below. So we've got three digital voice messages pre-programmed in for you. Okay, so this is the part of the video, if you have any babies sleeping, if your ears are sensitive to loud noises, you have your headphones turned all the way up, or you have some heart problems, you might want to turn the volume down a little bit, because we're really going to listen to these sirens. Another thing is what we're going to do is we're going to let them go for a little bit, and we're going to go through all the different sirens and all the different noises this car makes. So if you're not into that, well, what we can do is put a chapter in it so you guys can fast forward. So this is going to be the noisy part of the video. So uh, let's go. So we're going to demonstrate the dual tone siren. So because we have the two siren speakers on the front bumper, we have two amplifiers in the back, we can run dual tones at the exact same time. So you're going to hear wail and yelp, and yelp and wail, and then piercer and yelp. So as you press the horn button and go to your next siren tone, you're getting dual tones that sound like multiple vehicles coming down the road. And that's not one of the sirens. All right, I see you're still around. I warned you. something I always do I get it but it was really loud it was loud. really really loud yeah you added my voice to it I did now that's my voice that's your voice but what 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 do you really use that for so those are digital voice messages so agencies can actually record an authorized message and play it like a siren tone so, so for maybe a neighborhood evacuation for a storm or a, a riot or 
anything that they needed a pre-approved message for, they can record and the officer can have ready at will. Nice. All right, so uh, you want to go back to the trunk? Let's and look at the scene lights. Let's do it. <laughs> Justin's killing it back there with the light. <laughs> so this is something that's near and dear to my heart because I was like, man, I want to do some gear reviews and yep. things out of the trunk. This was my idea. Like, uh, I want this to kind of be like a uh, set on wheels. So one thing I want to do was light up the trunk enough to where you can see what it is. And I think Casey and the guys and you with the brain and the lights, everyone did a phenomenal job. I think it came out great. Now, let me warn you. I don't have it set up yet, so there might be some uh, random like random parts. No paraphernalia, but <laughs> random random parts that are in this trunk here. So guys, bear with me. It's still a little work in progress. This is the way it looks like, right? Just chilling. Just chilling. Right? Display on with the red lights in the back. Take a look, guys. You guys saw in, in the uh, install. Boom. You want to explain what we're looking at here? So this is the brains of the operation. So our core siren system here is the main brain of the unit. As all your outputs, it's what everything's tied to. And we were talking about those dual sirens. There's the dual amplifiers out there to the side, and the howler amplifier to run the howler. And then this is our VSG, the vehicle safety gateway. This is what's tying your car into the cloud. In order to check out what's in the trunk right now, is, like I said, it's junk in the trunk. <laughs> But there's a little switch right there. Hold on, let's get you doing the switch, go. Slip it. It's everything I hope for and more. These are some of our small scene lights that we use on uh, small ambulances, maybe in the back of a pickup truck or any kind of, uh, maybe a SWAT vehicle. Uh, mm -hmm. But we put several of them in here to make sure you have plenty of light nice. for your gear reviews. Yeah, so put your, hands, put your hands down there. Oh, look at that, look at this stuff. Look at, wow, look at all this stuff. So I want to hook up like a GoPro up here, maybe another camera here, another camera here, and then there'll be a camera pointing this way, and then should have, should look something similar to this with better lighting on me. But uh, guys, blah, 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 blah. So this equipment, uh, you guys heard some of the sirens, you guys saw the light patterns, yes? Oh, it's a lot more. There's more. So in order to show like a, the full capabilities, uh, one of them is you need another car here that has si similar system. So, so we talked about vehicle to vehicle sync. Yeah. So this this vehicle has a B2B sync module, so it can sync with other vehicles. So we'll do this in maybe another video. Yeah, 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 without a doubt. If you guys uh, watched the podcast, that's when Justin was talking about being an orchestra conductor, right, Justin? Right. Yep. Very important. <laughs> <laughs> I have no lighting. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. Right. Very important. Can we show them the surprise that you brought with you? Yeah. The Let's truck load? The truck load. All right, so it was a little movie magic here. We're gonna close the trunk and we'll do the magic words. We'll close, the tr close the trunk. Give a giveaway, give a giveaway. Give a giveaway, give a giveaway. Now there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Ah. Just watch the B-roll, guys. Watch the B-roll. A truckload of boxes here, and it has wheeling on here. So I'm assuming there's stuff in here. You want to want to run some stuff down? We've got our uh, gravel. Ah, with some, it's it's wrapped up really well. There we go. Wheeling. This is a roller, like travel bag. Travel bag. Bam. So guys, this is just a preview of what's inside these boxes. I'm gonna do a dedicated video, a rundown of everything that's inside this box, like an unboxing, and tell you guys how you can win some of this stuff. Look for that in the near future. And that concludes the rundown of all of these police lights. So let us know what you think down below. If everything came out sweet, I think it did. I think it came out great. Thank you for coming, my brother. Thanks Count for having up. me. Jay, always coming through supplying the lights and the location. Want to plug the location one more time? DMB tile. There you go. The light. All right, so who wants to start it off? I'll start it off? Yeah. yeah, and then I'll go two, and then you can go three. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 let's make the car do it. Oh, yeah. I guess uh, 
I guess we're not needed anymore. So us dumb humans are gonna leave. <laughs> all right, later. all right, see you later. I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you. Stunt driver is done, right? Alright, guys.